Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where we're finally in the west part. In the west part of the Forbidden West. <laughs> well, we're actually in the eastern part of Forbidden West, technically. Technically, technically. And we have a friend that we're apparently okay with having, despite snubbing the other one. And we're just gonna go ahead and bull rush into things and someday it's gonna get us in trouble. Someday we're gonna, oh, they're gonna murder us. We are not an embassy. We are not. She is not charismatic. She, she, she's not good at this kind of thing. Although maybe warrior to warrior might work better. I don't know. That is the line between east and west. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parley or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold. Wait a second, isn't this... She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. Oh, it's the guy. Yeah, 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 it's the guy. The Karja. If she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. Taken away? This guy doesn't want to go. He wants to stay here. Oh, boy. I told you. I told you. A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding Fashav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the army of the setting sun. You're Fashav. Vavad gave me a message for you. That he waits for you in Meridian, where you belong. Hmm. <laughs> Avad always was polite. Now I'm even more curious about you knowing that you have the confidence of the Sun King. But such an association with the Karja could work against you here, as it often has with me. As you can see, tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. I like that you can see the like finger marks in the paint. Like it's obviously been applied either by himself or by someone else with like their hands, right? Because you can see like the lines. It's cool. I've never seen markings like those on a Karja before. The Karja see ink is decoration. For the Tanakh, it is much more. A litany of deeds. A record of vanquished enemies. Looks like you vanquished quite a few. I've fought my share of battles. But I feel that my life, like my markings, is only half complete. This side shows my martial deeds. Before I die, I'd like to see the other half marked with the laurels of peace. Interesting. How did you come to be among the Tanakh? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Are you sure you want to hear it? Yeah, yeah. I love how they always like ask you before a long story. I guess we have time. Very well. I marched with Sun King Jaran's raiders when they came west, hoping to moderate their worst impulses. I failed. They committed unspeakable atrocities, stirring the Tanakh into action. When the clans overran our forward encampment at Cinnabar Sands, I stayed behind to help the last stragglers evacuate. 
and was taken prisoner. I didn't make it easy for my captors, mind you. And they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital. I lost so much blood on the way that I was white as a corpse when they threw me before Chief Akaro. I thought I was dead for sure, so I resorted to desperate measures. So when you met the Tanakh chief, you did something desperate? Now, I kept my ears open as the Tanakh dragged me along, and I heard mutterings about a kind of trial by combat that they revere. So, when they flung me at Akaro's feet, I demanded this right called the Kurut, thinking that by winning I could request a boon, my life or even my freedom. The other Tanakh howled, but Hakaro stared them down, and then his gaze fell upon me. Evidently, he appreciated my ingenuity. He allowed me to participate in the Kurut. Little did I know what I was in for. Yes. You said the cool route is a Tanakh trial by combat. Yes. But it is no ordinary trial. It doesn't pit men against each other, at least not directly. Instead, the combatants fight machines in a great arena, and only the strongest survive. And he had no blood. Believe me, it is no easy thing to stare down a charging machine while hundreds around you scream for Yeah, I've been there. I know more about that than you <laughs> think. Do you? Well, then you have my respect. Like you, I lived through it to claim my prize. I had hopes for freedom, but... Well, that wasn't on offer. Only service to the chief. You wound up serving the Tanakh the chief. The winners of the cool route must serve the chief as his marshals. You mentioned that word before. What does it mean? Now, the word itself refers to a kind of protective spirit from the ancient past. Mm -hmm. In practice. Marshals are Hikaru's roving lawgivers, part magistrate, part judge, part executioner. Mm -hmm. I won my place among their ranks and served as honor demanded, but many Tanakh still spat on the ground when I walked by. But they did, until I started forcing them to the ground to grind their faces in it. I guess that's one way to deal with it. As you may have noticed, violence is the native tongue of the Tanakh. To survive, one must master it. The truth is, though, the cars just speak it too. More than they should. I can't blame the Tanakh for hating them. Yeah, he's saying that, like, I, I don't know. Instead of saying we, he says them. But he seems like he's, a, he's not a part of one tribe or the other. They're all thems to him at this point. So then, are you still Karja? Part of me, yes. Always. That there is much to admire about the Tanakh, especially their chief. I've heard stories about what it was like before his reign. Three clans always at war, constantly slitting each other's throats. Hikaru and the marshals have crafted a delicate peace. And now he looks to the future. Who knows? Maybe that future will include cooperation with the Karja. The Karja talk about Hikaru as if he's a monster. The Karja feel compelled to demonize him if only because he swept them from the field. It is true that he is fearsome. When I was first taken before him, I thought he would flay me alive. But he is no bloodthirsty tyrant like the Mad Sun King was. I think that if you were fortunate enough to meet him, as I was, you would find that he only wants the best for his people. I hope you do speak to him. I'm sure you'd interest him. Yeah, I get that a lot. So, that's my story. You're the first Easterner to hear it, but not the last. The Karja need to know what I have learned. Yeah, the way you talk about the Tanakh is a lot different than how they do. Also, people pronounce Tanakh differently. Sometimes they're like Tanakh. Tanakhd or Tanakhs. Are you glad to be going back to Meridian? Oh, I'll admit that I wouldn't mind sleeping in a feather bed or sipping wine from the southern vineyards. But I have another goal in mind. As someone who knows the Tanakh and the Karja, I'm in a unique position to advocate for both. 
If Sun King of Odd is amenable, my hope is to establish a lasting peace. The Tanakhs don't seem that peaceful. They're not, as a rule. But these are difficult times. Chief Akaro knows that survival often requires change, even if that change means putting aside centuries of war. It's not gonna work. <laughs> I mean, it's a nice idea, but I'm really because I think I think from what I've seen in the like the promotional videos, they're like, yeah, he's trying to bring the Tanaka together, but they need something goes wrong, you know, as it as it always will. You asked why I need rite of passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost step ended. Back. In oh, 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 step back! Step back! That threat still exists. You're crossing the line. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west, and I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs. And I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian, an army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this, to serve as proof of your right to travel into tonight. What? A task so important, and it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you. And he'll listen to Look! Him. The Sky Clan's banner. Marshals. It wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Uh no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Not all Tanakh can stomach the idea of parlay with the Kaja. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. Oh, that, that's not what you said when you handed me the little knife. You said safe passage, here you go. I can't believe Avad sent this guy. He seems like the worst guy to send. The Karja have opened the with, gates. Oh, to, to parlay with warrior people. Oh my gosh, this is gonna go so poorly. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such- Oh no, somebody's angry. Oh, she- Hear me, Marshal! She angry. You who claim to be Tanakh! Regala, Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us. Exile. Yeah, well. <laughs> also, her voice. 
is awesome. Her, her whole outfit, legit. I really love the face thing. The, they have like the dinosaur looking crests that go across their nose and like heads, some of them. And hers is exceptionally nice. They're riding machines. Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. Vashav, come with us now, or not at all. Archer, light them up. Oh no, he's gonna die. Get to cover. Ah! Yeah, it seems silly to rush a, 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 a high ground art, like artillery defense. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what are they writing? It's amazing. They're not gonna make it. They're gonna fire on their own people. Hey! Come down and fight fair! Lancers! Take the center! Get ready! They show up! Oh my gosh, I just massacred everybody! Stick to um. cover! Archers on the ridge! Okay, here we go. Where is the people? I don't see them. Oh, there they are. Pursue the Nora, why? What have I done to you? Mm. This is taking too long, taking too long. Okay, no, 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 don't worry about that one, don't worry about that one. Oh, that was an accident, but it worked out. Hang on, I need to take down the machines that they have to- Whoa. Some ammo. Uh, what do you mean, get some ammo? Do you have some for me? Why can I not grab the machine? Why 
I... What is the point of any of this stuff? Am I just not... There we go. How do- oh my gosh, they break it so fast! Let's see, the people... There's so much to do. This is stressful. There's so many of them. I don't recall lighting anything on fire. I think that's a, that's a character. That's a character that we get to be friends with later. Maybe I lied. Maybe maybe we don't. Maybe he dies. <laughs> We've survived worse. Well, I, Here comes some arrows. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I got hit by an arrow. Um. Can I activate? Where? Oh my gosh! Where are they? Giving up. Hang on. Hit the acid on you. I am. There's so. There's so much going on. So there's acid, guys. And like acid's good against the people. Uh, I have the rope caster, but it's freaking useless. Even though it shouldn't be. Let's see if I can't. Yeah, it's good against the machines. Trying to jeez. I'm trying to get the Oh jeez, that better not have been far. Away. I see somebody behind me. Oh good. Oh, I don't have any blast pace. Cool. I have ammo for this. Oh, not that. Oh. Not you. This is ridiculous. I'm 
Okay, it's gonna blow. Oh, I'm an animal. Holy cow! Oh, jeez. Oh, keep me on my feet. Cash. I don't have a shock attack yet. Oh, oh I'm acidified too. Medicinal I have more medicinal berries in my stash. I know I have a gazillion of them. That's nice. I can't see anything. Why are you doing this to me? Oh my gosh, I can't move. been hard enough, man. <laughs> oh, no. What? What? Give me. Give me, give me. You can use it as a shield, too? Oh, my goodness gracious. You're next, girl. Oh, uh. <laughs> never see a shield like that. Better scan it. I don't think break through a shield uh, like that. Okay, well acid then. You gotta get through that shield. What? There, that's my chance. This guy has so much health. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm almost electrified, apparently. Gotta take down that shield. Oh, Elemental. I'm gonna die to this. I'm gonna. Die. Um, can I eat this? Okay, here we go. Well, there we go. Using food. Um, that shield's not gonna oh, save you. Not pretty, but 
if I can just keep up the damage. Yeah, use ranged attacks if those weren't working before. Especially because you can keep up the sh- Oh, he brought his shield back. Might as well. There, he's exposed. Oh my goodness, monsters are up. Give me your stuff. Oh, okay. It was an honorable challenge. You've earned your life today. Comrades! Mark this day! Today you have decimated the marshals! Slaughtered the Karja! So begins our war, honey Karma. I mean, they really just- they just murdered everyone. There's no survivors. Like, besides me and Varl. Like, that was brutal. And watching Wadis die, like, that was really sad, honestly. Like, the guy's not a warrior. just wanted to freaking live. Oh, he lived. He is our new friend. Oh, he's got... That's... That's old. I thought that was new, but that's old. The arm. You gonna make it? You're going on without me, aren't you? I just got you! Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. For now. Come on. I'll take you back to the fort. No, he died. I thought maybe he could live. Oh my gosh. Why didn't Aaron come out and help? I got you. Why didn't any of the cards were right out to help? Like, like I, I know the bows were hard from up top, but come on, man! They just let us get slaughtered. <laughs> 